Welcome to another episode of the ProsperWorks video series. I'm Harlan Jefferson, the town manager here in Prosper. And today we're gonna to talk about over a billion dollars worth of infrastructure activity here in Prosper. I want to introduce you to Hewlin Webb. He's a person that oversees all of those activities. Hewlin, tell us about the billion dollars worth of activities. Uh, yeah, Harlan, a billion dollars uh, worth of infrastructure really uh, goes straightly to uh, our regional partners that we have. Believe it or not, they've invested more than a billion dollars, and that includes TxDOT. Uh, with the uh, widening and the improvements they made along 380 on our southern boundary. Uh, the current improvements they're doing along Custer Road now on our eastern boundary as well as designing the ultimate improvements for FM 1385 on our uh, western boundary. Uh, we're also blessed with the uh, North Texas Tollway Authority who's working now on uh, completing the overpass that's uh, going to bring traffic over 380 safely. Uh, and that's just in preparation of the main lanes that they started design which should go into construction in 2024 and be done in 2027. Wow, that's a lot of great stuff, Eulen. So tell us about your department's role in all those activities. Okay, uh, so the engineering department, we've got uh, uh, engineers on staff. Uh, they oversee uh, the regional partner projects as well as uh, projects that the developers do. All the new residential developments that are coming online, the new commercial projects all over town. Engineers on staff make sure all those uh, uh, improvements that are proposed meet our plans and our standards. What is your department doing to help residents monitor all of those activities? Uh, well, currently this year we uh, implemented what's called the CIP Project Dashboard. Uh, it's available on our website and also through the town's mobile app where you can click on a map and see all the projects that are going on around town. And it even take you a little deeper into each project on uh, where it is in the, the design or construction phase and what the timeline is for completion of the project. That's outstanding. Now explain to residents, why are we on site? Why are we here? So we're on site here, as you, we mentioned, you know, regional partners. Uh, the PISD is building high school number three behind us, and they are a great regional partner for us. Uh, we do a lot to support them. And we're out here today to show you uh, First Street. Many people are probably wondering, what are we going to do with the... the this two-lane two road is going to support a high school, is that right? That is absolutely not right. So <laughs> <laughs> we have been under design for a little over a year now. Uh, council gave uh, dollars to the project a couple years, or a little over a year ago. So under design for a four-lane divided roadway that will kick off uh, next year, uh, by summer of next year, and be complete before school starts. And that will be four lanes to hopefully uh, facilitate the traffic that's going to be generated by the school. All right, Hewlin, that's great. What else does your department do? That's a great question, Harlan. I think it'd be better if I show you. I always wanted to drive one of these. Hey, Harlan, sorry, wrong department. We're actually going in the ditch. What? So, Hewlin, why are we in this ditch running our shoes? Great question, Harlan. Uh, as you're aware, the town has three master plans. We have our master thoroughfare plan for our roads. We've got our water master plan for our major water infrastructure. And last, we have our wastewater master plan for our wastewater system. And we're here out here, boots on the ground, showing a major wastewater trunk line that's being installed. And it's very vital that our, our construction inspectors are out here making sure that it's uh, done correctly so that when we turn it over to public works, it'll be minimal maintenance. So we don't, we don't just trust that the uh contract is going to do it right, we verify with inspectors. Yes, absolutely. Is there a place that residents can follow not only the infrastructure activity, but also all the non-residential and residential activities? Yes, sir, there is. Uh, every month, the uh, engineering department puts out a uh, report on our website showing all the existing uh, residential and non-residential developments. What's the biggest challenge engineering faces? Another great question, Harlan. The biggest challenge we're facing is with all this infrastructure, we're just getting it in as quickly as possible. Uh, we're experiencing rapid growth, not just in Prosper, but in our surrounding communities. Uh, luckily, uh, the voters did approve a 2000, or excuse me, $210 million bond last year. $150 million of that is for roads. And uh, while that's supposed to get us 10 years, we've already been approved for $50 million of that $150. So the biggest challenge is making sure that we uh, prioritize and get these projects underway quickly. Well, thank you very much, Hewlin. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining us for another episode of the ProsperWorks video series.